Real this time. Looks like we are. Welcome out, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sigifu, joined out here with Carl and Vox Day on camera. As we get started up here on KD, starting out on the blue side, red side's gonna be Mentamori here. And the lower bracket finals, the winner goes on to the grand finals. Loser is gonna be out of the game completely here. As Jared's gonna get out here very early as we have Blaze actually jumping in across the point, gets taken out by there by Ender. Draft also got taken out, so no demo man here for Mental Mori. And the, the point should be going down uh, completely in the favor of candy very nice uh, early mid here would you say yeah i couldn't agree more Jarrett just did a fast bomb using his booty's health to just jump in and instantly kill giraffe on mid and just lock out all of mm essentially single-handedly winning mid for his team and KD is keeping the pedal down right now as they're already on to the second point. Jarrett not even letting uh, Memento Mori get set up here in this upper area as they're currently controlling it. Just in time, sitting at 100%. Apple also went down there, so he's going to be sitting uh, only at 33%. So KD with this huge uber advantage right now. And we'll see if they can work anything off this as uh, they don't want to wait too long to give them a chance to get uber ready. They did lose Skizzer right before this push, so it might hamper their push. Uh, but here comes the ubers to take it away. Jarrett is going to be pushing in here with this uber charge, going to be grabbing onto Kresnik as well as Eerie Person sitting behind the point, but this uber, it's not doing a lot, only Ender Kresnik goes down, Jarrett goes down as well, but Katsy's on the point with the soldier, can they defend it? Geosis comes in here, takes down both Yosh and Etni right there, and that's going to hold it down, only two alive here on the defensive side, but uh, Skizzer, actually, he's sitting in shutter, nobody's checked it, he can do a back cap, Demento's actually on the point right now, he gets caught up by Geosis, Skizzer's actually going to drop down to Apple, but fortunately gets caught out there, Memento Mori with the complete wipe are going to be able to defend the point and take back the second one and a nice job there on that defense what I saw happen there is uh, because Skizzer went down before the push it looked like they couldn't quite use their advantage to kill MM's medic and so MM was able to just dodge the uber and hold it and it kind of even felt like it was they lacked players in the push I mean it looked like it only was Kresnik and Giraffe who got in there, and then they didn't really have anybody to kind of follow up or, or, or get deep. Um, as they did just lose Giraffe here, uh, coming through Big Door, so they're going to have to kind of reset. But though Apple's sitting at 100% right now, but slowly losing that uber advantage. So I'll be curious to see uh, what they want to do with this, as by the time Giraffe is going to get to the front line, both teams are going to be at 100%. It seemed like they were trying to wait for draft, but it ultimately is just going to end in them not having uber advantage for this push, as Candy is about to get it. Yeah, just in time, down to 70 HP, got popped off the point, but able to grab Uber. Not going to be that effective as Blaze is going to jump in here, gets a decent amount of damage onto Jarrett, but Jarrett, fortunately enough to get an arrow, just in time doing a good job. As uh, Blaze by himself on this point, they actually lost a bunch of players in this push. And they're going to have to reset on this point, and they're going to be even lucky if they're going to hold on to the second point right now. As, uh, no, they're just going to opt to back out, and KD's just going to walk in here for free. KD did a great job there of staying on the high ground at point and just crushing MM's push. They did a good job of blobbing up and just absorbing everyone who came in. They did end up forcing just in time, so it wasn't a total loss for MM. But he ends up going down here on seconds. So we should be seeing a repush by MM. Yeah, and that's what exactly they're doing, uh, is they're getting the capture time. Currently, the point did go down in the favor of k &D, so back cap could happen as Etni with a nice play. They're a little sneaky, getting a 2k, defending the second point, and Apple still is going to have that uber advantage. It's just in time, just coming up right now. Giraffe's got to be careful not to overextend, but a nice kind of job there by the flank classes to at least hold on to the second point for the time being. Like you said earlier, the flank, definitely a strong part of this map. Um, k &D was able to managed to not actually lose second there, despite losing almost all their players. And just in time, it's actually building Uber Charge with Skizzer back on the midpoint. Um, I think they're just like kind of trying to give this up, but you want to be careful here because you want to make sure Apple does get forced uh, to take this point. Because um, if they don't, they're going to basically allow them to get a push into mid for free, or at least to be able to do an Uber exchange. Uh, but it looks like KD is playing it very safe here. Given up the second point, but now we're going to get a push into this mid fight here. Draft getting ready to go, and Blaze is coming through on the backside. They lose Etni very early on as the Uber does come across the point just in time, getting up to 100%, milking it incredibly well as he's going to be popping onto Jarrett. Push, trying to push back across the point. Draft gets focused down by the scout. Down goes Blaze as well, and this is looking very good for Memento. I'm sorry, for uh, KMD is Ender leading the charge onto the heavy right there, trying to get some damage. This eerie person goes down as well. Down goes Geosis. Fusion trying to dance for his life, but he goes down. Only two alive here on Memento Mori Sai and KD with a beautiful pushback onto that point. KD had a great push right there, just like you said. They flooded in through choke and just overwhelmed the defenders from MM. 
And now it looks like they're going to be forcing some people into last. Well, do you like the push out of Memento Mori there straight on the last? Like, where do you think they went wrong there as uh, they just lose Blaze on this defensive side? I think in their push from mid when they initially had Uber Advantage, it ended similarly to their last push when they just took too long and ended up losing their Uber Advantage. So we'll see what now, uh, what Kane can, D can do right now as they're coming up to 100% right now. A little bit of an Uber Advantage and they're going to try to use that to that their advantage is Apple dancing for his life. He goes down just before he's able to get Uber. Kresnik on top of the pipes doing crazy damage. Down, down goes Draft. Here comes a scout trying to come in onto the point, but still the defense is keeping up. Eerie person so incredibly low. Ender taking him out with the help of the mini. Now it's just fusion. He's going to go down fairly easily there as Etni going to jump onto point. KD is going to take the first round. Nice job on that push. That was a pretty surprising push. I did not think it would be successful for KD considering that they had trouble actually getting in at the start, but ultimately they managed to clean up the frags and win the round. Well, and taking down Apple right away is, is always going to work out in your favor. I mean, <laughs> having your medic die at 99% might have been a little bit of a bad positioning out of the medic there to expose himself. But, I mean, when you're that close, maybe you're not thinking about it. But Edney, early frag on here, right onto Apple, and down he goes. And we'll see if k &D can follow this up because they're looking poised to take this point, and we'll see what they can do. But can Just-In-Time keep alive here? You want to make sure you can trade for your medic, and Geosis is going to try to make a plan to Just-In-Time. Down he goes to about 100 HP, but able to stay alive. Draft, incredibly aggressive. I love this play out of Momentum Mori. Down goes their medic, and are they going to come away with the point? It looks like they are, as there you go, they take the point, and actually are even in a player advantage right now. MM did a great job of salvaging that mid. They lost their med early, and so they knew they had to get aggressive and try to leverage the health they already have and they managed to just push forward aggressively and take the mid and now they're getting back in to mid with heals and looks like they'll be able to fight and Justin ends up going down at 95% and so MM should be able to hold mid here yeah Blaze coming in there doing absolute work uh, great job by him getting the nice two rockets onto just in time Apple now going to be sitting at, at a nice uber advantage down goes the spy as well so we should see a push through and they might even want to just aggress this for free but Jarrett's going to make it hard for them as he's seen that choke he's actually going to drop back into the upper area but here comes Etni he's going to bomb in a little bit too soon but is it no apple able to stay alive went down to about under 10 hp grabbing a sandwich and a med pack up to 100 percent and they're going to push on to this point Hopefully they're not going to have to use their uber, but they got to be careful not to get sniped here as Yosh is going to be rotating into the upper area. Jarrett, though, uh, is going to be sitting there. He actually gets taken out, and uh, I don't know if that's a good play there by Jarrett as he's going to be down now, potentially to defend this final push. Candy lost both their combo classes, so I oh. assume... Whoa, MM loses Apple again. They've been really struggling to keep him alive. Yeah, Demento with the stab onto the medic there. Really nice job. He actually ran up behind Apple. I mean, for so incredibly long. If Apple just looked behind him like one time, uh, he would have saw him instantly. So nice job there by the spy making the plays. And uh, Candy might just push out from that as they are sitting at 100% now. That was a really crucial pick as MM was pushing in with essentially Uber. And they had pick on both of Candy's combo classes. So Demento essentially saving the round for KD right there. And we'll see if KD can start to push out. They're going to use their Uber out very early here. Might have even been unnecessary as they're going to just kind of take their ground for free. Jared down actually incredibly low in 1v1 against Eerie. He actually might go down here. Nice dodging by him to keep alive. Also with just in time getting the heals, but now the spam coming down from Blaze. Still Jared keeping alive. He is a master of deception right there. But finally does go down from a shot from Bagel. And we'll see uh, what they can do as Draft's going to be walking in here from the big door. Just in time. A little bit out of position right now. Down to half HP. He's going to try to jump across the point. He does seem to be able to get out alive. As, uh, yeah, it looks like looks like MM are going to retake this point for free right now. And Just in time also went down there to Giraffe. Demento again getting the pick on Apple right as they're coming into lobby. That's another crucial pick by him. Possibly saving Candy of the round for a second time in a row. Will MM be able to push in here? It looks like they're getting some decent spam in, but Candy's spawns are up, and they'll be able to hold for now. And that is back-to-back -back Uber drops trying to push into the final point there by Demento. So he's doing absolute work today, and Apple, baby, you gotta turn around. You gotta do something different. You can't let yourself get stabbed there. I mean, obviously, 
uh, you know, it's everybody needs to be spy checking and, and they just need to make sure they step it up into this next round. Uh, as uh, Demento trying to get himself into position to make a play again, actually going to back out there. As Apple sitting about a 30% disadvantage, Etni gets a kill on the bagel, blazes down as well. So this is going to slow this push, but Candy looks like they just want to, uh, just play it slow here as Ender goes down, so no engineer for this final point for a little bit, but only mini sentry, so it's not as big of a deal as it would seem. Candy is sitting here on a slight uber advantage. I highly doubt they'll end up pushing out, as they just want to preserve their lead and don't really want to take a risk. Pushing out a last is very, very difficult on this map. There's just so many options for back capping and just getting caught out if you take even the, a few seconds too long. So it looks like it's just going to be heading into a last point stalemate, maybe see some suicides coming in and out of MM as they now have uber. Yeah, so if you're a Memento Mori here on the red side, holding at 100%, you're even Ubers, what would you be doing to try to create an advantage for your team? I'd be doing essentially what they're doing right now, trying to get Bagel some sightlines to peek into the combo from River. Um, another thing that we did in our match was to have our Spy decloak as our Soldier and Scout ran into Suicide, and just sort of get these small groups of Suicides, try to force them out or get a few picks to open up the round for us. So Fusion got down into water there, got some damage onto Kresnik, who's going to eat a sandwich to reheal himself. Yosh goes down, Death actually takes down Jarrett, so no Demo Man right now on the defensive side. Blaze going into water, Geosis is going to follow suit as a Conk does get popped off onto Etni here. Uh, but it's not really going to do much as they're starting to peek onto this point. Eerie Person is going to push in, Draft also down here for this push side as uh, nobody is currently in water. Actually a lot of frags coming out currently in the favor of uh, K&D, but that's not going to stop Momentum Mori as they're still trying to push into this point. Eerie Person actually gets taken out there, maybe a little bit overextended. Apple has to be careful to get out alive. Down goes Fusion as well, and uh, a failed push here out of Momentum Mori. Now it's a question as do K&D want to push out? They do have a decent player advantage, but if they still uh, are kind of holding here a little bit close. It looks like they are pushing out. Right now, Justin is alone in lobby. He's pretty isolated, and the spy is in lobby with him, so it'll be interesting to see if he ends up going down. Jarrett went out aggressively and ended up getting picked, and so this might spell the end of the push, but KD seems to still be trying to get forward. They need to be fast in this in the future if they want to make sure they can get the cap. And it looks like they are going to get the cap. Memento Mori just opting not to push out there as Apple also went down. Uh, thanks to the medic? Wait. What? Uh, am I reading that correctly? Wow, the medic picked the medic. Uh, that's insane right there. As Apple just coming back to life right now is just in time. Now sitting at about a 60% advantage and they want it. They should use this right away or they want to. It looks like as they're getting ready around this choke area. Coming at 94% as they're going to start to get aggressive through this point. Here comes uh, the push, uh, but still no uber pop. Just in time holding on to it for barely long, but Giraffe takes down Jarrett there, and that's going to at least spell a little bit of doom. Geos is trying to make a play on just in time, but not take enough damage. And this point, actually great job by K&D, despite losing their demo man, they're going to take this for free, still holding on to that uber, but Blaze coming in here, getting the force off at the very least, and uh, that actually might be good for Momentum Mori, as they should be able to hold on to the second point now, with that uber advantage, and maybe even repush. Seemed like on that push, K&D's combo and their flank was a little bit discoordinated, as Blaze was still holding Big Door, as Candy's combo is walking in, but now we see that Uber come out of MM, they're taking the midpoint again, pushing Candy out with ease, and it's just another seesaw over the midpoint. Yeah, and it might be coming back again as Jarrett's coming through this big door area just in time, only at 65, or sorry, 56%, as Apple goes down to a headshot from Yosh, Fusion going down, Geosis as well, and just so many players bleeding out from Memento Mori. Blaze, though, he's hiding on the point right now. He's waiting for the opportunity to go for just in time. Does he know where he is? He's going to jump in here, but easily gets cleaned up there. Nice job by Kresnik, spotting him out and taking him down, not even giving a chance, and... Uh, KD didn't even have to retake this point as Momentum Mori not even having a chance to grab it. And now they're going to start to get time here with a spy onto the second point, easily pushing up here. But Bagel looking at a sight line right now, ops it back out, and KD uh, looking good here. They might even be able to take last from this. Yeah, they did a really good job there of rotating out and then not losing players so they could repush immediately. And that aggressive push in the mid is letting them roll right into this last push. And here they come, the Uber out onto Jarrett as well as Giz as they're pushing onto this final point. Here comes Blake, I'm sorry, Etni over the top, pushing Apple way up in the air. Apple does go down. Scratchy's behind the point right now, but here comes the reinforcements from the respawns. And just in time, able to stay alive. Only two alive here. They made a common mistake of just trying to rush their push before they were really ready. And so they just ended up on the low ground and got cleaned up in the post-Uber. But here <laughs> coming in, Apple goes down again. 
Yeah, Etni was hiding on the midpoint that entire time. He was There was a little light that he was standing on and nobody saw him. Everybody went through, but that's not going to stop Momentum Mori as they have shown themselves to be so incredibly aggressive. Taking a decent uber advantage is still 10 seconds until uh, Justin Time's going to get back up. That pick by Fusion there on Justin was so crucial as it's going to allow them to take mid right away here. Candy sort of failed that last push as they made a common mistake of just trying to rush their push before they were really ready. And so they just ended up on the low ground and got cleaned up in the post uber. But here coming in, Apple goes down again. Yeah, Etni was hiding on the midpoint that entire time. He was, there was a little light that he was standing on and nobody saw him. Everybody went through, but that's not going to stop Momentum Mori as they have shown themselves to be so incredibly aggressive. Taking down Ender there, Blaze going up into that upper area. And who needs a medic when you have players alive? And I just love Momentum Mori's aggressive style. They don't need a medic. If they lose their medic, they're just pushing forward. Now they're controlling the second point. Uh, we're going to have Apple coming up here, getting some percentage point to his uber charge. But now it's just a question. Candy is sitting at a 60% uber charge advantage. But as you said, it's an incredibly hard push to make out. If you were in Justin Time's position right now, would you be pushing out from the last point? I definitely would not be, unless you have a lot of space. Which MM, playing this passive, it's definitely an option to push out. However, I would personally just be more conservative. But here they're ubering into big door, they uber in the flank classes. Skiz is going in alone, and so they wasn't able to get any frags. And then MM is just still sitting pretty in big door. Yeah, good job by Momentum Mori. Cutting the Uber comes in fusion, as well as a spy taking down two players right there. Down goes the Devil Man and Giraffe. They're not gonna they're going out for blood right now as Giraffe takes down one more. No combo classes except for the medic up right now. Giraffe already into this final point. The scout does go down, but here's Giraffe alone. He actually needs to be reconnected with his medic, and there he comes in the Uber. Blaze over the top, taking down the medic, and now they're on to the point with Memento Mori taking the round for themselves in 1-1 one, one, as we are an incredibly close matchup in this first half. That round really ended unexpectedly. Candy, with their aggressive group push, didn't end up working out. They didn't get enough damage and kills in, and they ended up just getting crushed in the post-super fight. It kind of felt like they just did like a half uber push, like they kind of were like, uh, we're going to try to push here, but they just didn't get enough ground as we have Etni trying to make a play over the top, does take down the scout there, but not going to find anything else as we're on to the third mid fight. Uh, the mid fights have gone kind of each side one time to KD, one time to uh, Memento Mori as they lose Giraffe as well as Apple here with a backstab from Demento with his third medic pick of the day. But uh, Bagel taking down Jarrett there, so no demo man and only Katsy's on this midpoint with uh, the medic right now, so it's uh, still nobody's really decided. And actually, Bagel might be able to make a play onto just in time if he sees him. Uh, but Geosis now getting onto the point, down goes Bagel, so no sniper here from Memento Mori's side. And, this is an incredibly long midpoint fight, but it looks finally like KD is going to come down with it. Yeah, even at the start of that mid, it was very slow. MM tried to go aggressively up the right side, just like Giraffe is doing now. Blaze high bombing in. It's going to kill the sniper, but the medic is okay. KD is sitting here with a 50% of rear advantage, so I'd expect them to be pushing in a second any moment now. They're going to finish the cap and will be looking to push in. Yeah, KD has kind of been lacking in their aggression this game, and it looks like they're going to continue to do so as they're going to start to push, but might be too late here as Apple coming up at 90% right now should get Uber in time to be able to defend this as Jarrett putting out a decent amount of damage uh, onto the Heavy there, who's going to have to back up as Skiz does go down from Giraffe's Stickies. As Fusion jumping in here, still the Uber has not been popped, allowing Apple to come up to 100%. Giraffe's actually going to be poking uh, out from here from lower lower as the Uber is going to get popped in to this lower area. Apple down to half HP, that's not going to matter here, so they're going to hold on tight. Jarrett, Jarrett and Justin Time in a very bad position. The Medic should go down here. Yes, he does, thanks to Geosis. Jarrett going down as well, so none of the combo classes are up right now besides Kresnik here. But Apple still alive. Here comes Etni taking down the sniper. This extended fight is still going on. Giraffe holding on to the second point, but now he's disconnected from everybody. Easily going to get taken out here. And it looks like finally KD is going to get the best of this, taking the second point. That was an incredibly terrible Uber out of KD. They Ubered in with only Jarrett and Justin. And they ended up going behind MM and just got cleaned up immediately. But KD's teamwork and their DM, they just played together well in the post super fight managed to collapse on MM and come out on top. And now they're looking to push last, although they do need a way for Uber. Yeah, KD is just a little bit at Uber, Uber disadvantage after Geosis taking down Justin Time, who got disconnected from everybody else. So it's going to be interesting to see how they want to push this. We're going to have a little bit of downtime 
And, uh, you know, obviously, we're not going to see Momentum more pushing out with the super advantage. It's very uncommon for teams to do that here. Drefto getting incredibly aggressive in this lobby area. They're actually retaking ground. Do you like this play out of Momentum, Mori? Holding lobby? I think holding lobby is just too risky to really be worth in Highlander. Um, K and D seems to be playing this perfectly, where they're being passive in Upper River. And exactly what just happened, they lose two when trying to push out. And now this will give Candy and a window to push into last. Yeah, Eerie Person goes down, so all the big classes down here, only you're going to have the Soldier to be able to defend this point. Demento, he's actually going to decloak on the point, point pretty shortly as the Uber does get popped in on here. The time is ticking down, Fusion takes out the Spy, but the Demo Man and Pyro are still in here. The Uber does get counter popped onto Apple, who is going to try to use it onto Fusion here, trying to defend this point, but so much of the point is already off uh, in the favor of KD as Etni is currently below in water, but he is spotted. Scissors is going to try to push in here. Apple down incredibly low. Ender coming in as well. But Etni is still behind as Eerie Person goes down. So no heavy for this defense. Apple should be taken out here if Etni lands any of his rockets. But he still can't. A Apple doing a good job of dodging. And somehow, some way, Memento Mori is holding on to this point. And you made the same mistake they made earlier. Trying to force in an Uber through uh, lower main. They had just ended up on the low ground for the post super fight. And MM with their spawns did a good job of cleaning up the kills. Candy Demento. can, uh, oh yeah, Demento's going for the back cap. He was really a big fan of decloaking on point just to get the cap time and pressure, but it hasn't really been working out that much. Uh, it will make MM hesitate somewhat pushing out, and it looks like Blaze is going to go down, but at the same time, Justin also dies. Jarrett, Kresnik, and Demento all go down, so this should be an easy push out for MM. Yeah, though, though the scout and engineer trying to make a play behind the scenes and get, end up easily getting taken out there as a point is currently being at cap in the favor of Memento Mori. There's only two alive here on the blue side, which is K and D. And there you go, Apple now sitting at 100%. They want to push into the midpoint right away, and they're going to do that through Big Door. Here they come in, draft, getting the... We'll see if the Uber does get popped off. They actually just might bully them out for free. Good job by Apple there. Not popping as a Fusion leading the charge, though he does get traded. Uh, they're taking down Katsy, but getting uh, killed by Yosh. But there you go, nice push out from Memento Mori. Not only taking the second point, but already onto this midpoint. And that's the aggression we've seen out of Memento Mori. As they just, when they get the advantage, they want to use it. And they're going to continue to do so as they come into this second point here. Blaze jumping in onto the top area, focusing down Kresnik. But Kresnik does a good job of uh, pushing him off. Draft all alone here, actually connecting with Geosis. As they're already into the last point, basically. But it's creating space for his team to come in. And the second point easily going down in the favor of Memento Mori. Draft did a good job of just plowing forward, getting aggressive, making space for a team, like you said, and he just opened up the entire point, and they flooded in behind him. So that was another great play by MM, using their aggression to take second all the way to, back to Candy's last. Yeah, we're going to have Blaze jump into this final point, ends up forcing off the medic just in time there, and that's actually going to give a huge uber advantage currently to Apple, as they're going to hold on to this second point, because K and D were not able to take enough ground here, and a uh, really nice job there by Blaze getting the force off, but they got to be careful not to lose uh, Apple here as Etni coming in onto the medic, but Giraffe with the melee on an AK right now with the point partially capped, and Memento Mori might just push in here straight away. It looks like MM is forcing their way into the river. Giraffe kills the mini. They're trying to get through. They end up going into water. Apple has Uber here, so I'm expecting them to be pushing in quite shortly. The but combo's they're... in river, going underwater. Giraffe's, they end up popping the Uber out on the point. Candy is losing a bunch of players, they're all low, and this looks like it'll be another round for MM. But here comes Etni over the top with Presnick from Secret! Almost enough to save the point, but not enough to kill the Engineer and Heavy, and there you go. Momentum Mori getting the momentum, currently up 2-1, taking the last two rounds with 6 minutes and 35 seconds as we come into our next mid-fight here. And uh, KND, they gotta be feeling a little bit of the pressure right now, as they were, it seemed to be huge favorites in the saloon, as you said, a little bit closer. And uh, it seems definitely to be coming out this way, as uh, we'll come into this next mid fight. And what are you seeing early on here, Carl? It seems like MM is taking a more reactive mid. They're all playing on the low ground. I find that usually doesn't work out, and almost everybody on MM is in the red, but they still manage to get the frags on KND. MM's aggression and ability to just stay alive there, they just ended up cleaning up every single person except for these last few stragglers on KD, taking the mid, keeping Apple alive, so they're going to be coming into second shortly with a full uber advantage. And Bagel taking down just in time during that mid fight, so as you said, full uber advantage going in the favor of Apple as Draft alone by himself in this uh, lobby area as times two coming into the second point, and this is the aggression we talked about 
out of momentum Mori. They're showing it right now as Giraffe. I, that's one thing I love about his playstyle is he's always getting forward. He's always leading the charge for his team. And especially when you have somebody like that, it makes it really easy to fill in the space. As currently look like they're going to be coming in through this riverside. We're going to probably see an Uber popped off. Heavy and Scout going into water. Giraffe coming in through this river. Getting the Uber popped off. Level 2 Cinch Gun currently up right now. A lot of damage being focused on it. Finally does go down as the Scout's going to try to get some damage onto the point. Uh, it's Fusion actually with the help of Geosis and here comes the Heavy as well. They're going to try to do a lot of damage. Eerie person down incredibly low. He's still alive somehow. He finally goes down with the help of Giraffe, but Giraffe's going to push in here. Scratchy onto the point with Giraffe and they take it. 3-1 in the favor of KND and we might see four points before the half. That was a really quick round. That Those quick rounds before half are definitely going to swing the momentum in MM's favor even farther. Being a 3-1 is so big compared to 2-1 when it's more than just a single round difference. But here, Candy is starting off with another aggressive mid. Jarrett, with that job, he's getting in there, actually forcing Giraffe out of this fight, and that might give the favor to KD here. His Giraffe's still not in this mid fight right now, and Jarrett doing a good job. Ender does go down to a backstab right there, but an engineer's not that important in the mid fights usually here, as Blaze and Geos is hiding underneath the point. They want to make a play in just in time, but he's already dead. Thanks to Bagel again, getting the snipe, but KD uh, should come down with this point. They want to, but the re-aggression coming out of Eerie Person, they did lose uh, Blaze there, I believe. No, here he comes, and actually over the top, Getting some damage onto Katsy. Scratchy ends up finishing off the pyro there as just in time still not in this uber fight right or sorry in the mid fight as the extended fight's going down. Giraffe did get traded out there. But here we go. Momentum Mori getting the better of this extended mid fight. Damn, we saw Justin going down, and that's so big for the rest of this round because Apple's gonna be sitting on this huge uber advantage again. They also have the player advantage and doing a good job of just making sure Apple is living these mid fights, and that's hopefully going to let them get another quick round out here. Yeah, and I mean, you can speak to this yourself. I mean, do you find it, like, usually when I, when I see five CP maps, like, the first couple rounds tend to be fairly long, but once one team starts getting that, those fast um, games, doesn't it tend to, like, speed up the game in itself? And, like, it's kind of, it tends to be hard to kind of, for K and D, if they can actually slow, if they can just at least not give up one more point, I think they have a chance this game, but once one team starts giving up fast points, it tends to go fast, would you say? Yeah, definitely. And uh, Yosh ended up getting the snipe on the Apple there, and so Candy is going to live the fight another day. They have a huge uber advantage. They might be looking to push out to try to get one more round before the half, although with three minutes, it's going to be hard for them. It looks like they are trying to push out. Their flank is now in the lobby, and so is the combo. This trap and river could destroy. Yes, oh! it gets two kills right on yep. Candy's combo. Both of their combo classes go down, but fortunately, just in time did not pop over there. Is still going to hold on to it. Apple at 40%, so they're going to have a still of a chance to have the defensive side here with nine seconds though until they push in. I, I giraffe might just go, and he wants to do just that though. He goes down to one HP, able to get connected back up with his medic, but Fusion comes in there, getting the force onto just in time, and this is huge. This is going to give Memento Mori a chance with 70% Uber advantage to go onto this final point. And just, they're doing such a good job of using their aggression and not over committing. As you see there, they lose some players, but they do get the force. They keep Apple alive, they keep the Uber advantage, and they're still set up a river ready to work in and push last again quite shortly. So we'll see how they want to push with this Uber right now. They're up at 100% just in time, 40% in climbing, but definitely not going to have it in time. Giraffe wants to go through this riverside. We're going to see the Uber get popped off, but everybody needs to get in position. Here comes Uber onto Giraffe, coming down to the final point. Easily takes out the Centric Gun Fusion, doing a decent amount of damage. A scratch the Engineer underneath the point. A lot of players coming through this riverside. Geosis and the Eerie Person coming through the secret. Just in time, incredibly low with Kresnik connecting with him on the point. But all of them go down. Geosis with a 3k taking him out. Skiz is going to try to do something, but 4-1, and that takes us to the half. Momentum Mori with the huge lead, taking it four straight, taking it to half and might be causing a huge upset against K&D, who were, I mean, are, isn't K&D the last two season winners when it comes to playoffs? They won the last two out of three seasons, or the last two out of three serious seasons, so two out of four seasons. Yep. Last time they played in season 16, they ended up losing to MTS, but they still got second place, so they've placed every single season in the last uh, three serious seasons in the top two, so that's definitely a, a very serious pedigree for success. So if you were Candy, if you were Jared, if you were Nursey, what would you be saying at halftime to your team to try to get them, like, what do they need to change here to be able to take some rounds off them? Or what do, you, what do they need to, like, basically, what would you be doing in the mumble right now to try to change the vibe? 
I think just making sure everybody's focused, they're not giving up, they know that they won four rounds against us and a half, we can easily do that to them. Doesn't matter what players they are, we can just play our game and win. Um, making sure everyone's confident and able to just execute how you want to play the game and just win the rounds. Um, I think one big thing to note is that Nursi usually main calls for KD on 5 CP, but uh, due to ESCA playoffs, Nursi can't play and so they have to have Justin. Mm. And so, not having their main caller, um, they'll have to have a Jarrett main call on 5 CP, which usually doesn't, so a little bit out of their comfort zone. And I think I can really see that sort of showing through with how aggressive they are at times, and the sort of pushes that aren't exactly how they should be, and just overall their play is a little bit off, not as coordinated as you usually see out of Candy. So I think MM's aggression combined with Candy being a little bit off their game, do the main caller is really working out in MM's favor. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of feels like um, K and D. I mean, well, 5CP maps, I mean, it's all about aggression. It's all about trying to push forward. I mean, you want to do it smartly, but you can see the difference of Memento Mori. I mean, they're just pushing. They're pushing aggressively. They're pushing consistently, and it's working out for them. As I'm about to pull up the logs here, and I can pass them to you if you don't have them yourself. Um, and uh, one sec here. There we go. As I'm looking at the stats right now, and uh, the first thing that jumps out at me, we're going to have Giraffe with the most kills currently in the game. That is impressive, let alone the fact that, uh, I mean, having a demo man dude getting kills is not always, I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean anything because a, a, demo, a demo's job is to put out damage. If he doesn't get kills, that means his team's getting kills. But he also has 3,000 more damage currently, or actually almost 4,000 more damage than Jarrett. And I think that is definitely a big change, as well as Jarrett has 24 deaths compared to Giraffe's 13. Now, obviously, you know, if you're winning the game, your stats are always going to look better. But that also, that we saw just the same thing that happened in uh, Silver Savage's game, even in the first half, where, you know, Silver Savage's was still in it. Um, Giraffe had a very low death count. I think that's kind of really the first thing that jumps out at me here. What are you seeing in the stats yourself, Carl? I think this is just uh, another great thing to highlight how uh, strong the booties are. Um, you can see Giraffe is running them exclusively, and Jared is running them only some of the time. Um, and Giraffe, as a result, is dying much less and is still getting a ton of kills and a ton of damage. The speed on this map is allowing him to just control the game. Um, similarly, in our match against KD, Zan was running the booties the whole time, and he had a, like a 45 to 15 KD. So, I think just the booties on this map, especially, are extremely powerful. In Highlander, um, Jared again, he plays in a style that doesn't function as well as other demos on 5 CP. But um, usually, with Nursey main calling, they're able to sort of play around that and still be very effective. Um, in past seasons, they've been down going into half times, but still managed to come back and win. Um, even in similar fashion, not this big of a deficit, but they have lost quick rounds right before the half. So I don't mm -hmm. think uh, with Candy's experience, I think they'll be able to stay focused and definitely put up a fight in the second half. They're all smart players, so I think they'll be able to adjust and at least make it more competitive for the next 30 minute half. As we are looking right now, both medics sitting at 12 deaths each, um, you know, uh, you have Apple with a few more assists, but both medics have been dying just about the same amount. And that's kind of unusual because you would think that if one team is winning 4-1 at the half, you'd be thinking, okay, well, one medic must be dying a lot more. There must be something really different. I think that's kind of an interesting stat line to say that just in time is actually keeping alive just as well as Apple. And Apple even had a couple of those Uber drops um, you know, earlier in the game. But I think it kind of speaks to Memento Mori is this just their team game, their aggressive team game together is kind of working out in favor of them. Um, is there any kind of other players that you kind of are, think are standing out right now uh, in comparison to the class against them? I think uh, Skiz is having a very good game. He's up at 31 and 21, which is six frags above fusion. Um, he does only have like around 10 damage per minute more, but Skiz definitely top fragging for KD. Um, I think another thing to note from these stats is Yosh, because the pace of the game is pretty quick, um, Yosh hasn't been able to get the snipes out, or he's just not that hot today, and he only has 16 kills, and Bagel, who's generally struggled against other snipers at the top of plat, um, and been one of the weaker players on MM, is definitely playing even with Yosh, so that's very mm -hmm. strong for MM to see them not uh, losing out on what 
I would expect to be the biggest disadvantage. And one other interesting stat to that point is actually Daft the Spy for Memento Mori currently has eight frags onto Yosh. So uh, definitely I think one of the big things in uh, Memento Mori's game plan is focus the sniper with the spy. Like, you know, and that's kind of one of the things I, I kind of think is kind of uh, evolving in the uh, Highlanders we've seen as we might be going live here. Yes, we are. As guys, this is going to be coming into the second half. K and D on their last leg lose one more round and they are out of the lower bracket. They are actually out for good as whoever wins this is going into the grand finals this coming Monday. Monday with Momentum Mori up 4-1 and Jarek Gideon coming out of their choke right now. As a, what are you seeing early on here, Carl, from uh, each team? Jared hit a good sticky on the mid there. It looks like MM is a little bit slow getting onto their side. Um, they have a lot of players on the ground, but Kresnik goes down early and so does Jarrett. They both get backstabbed. Def coming in with another big play. Not only is he killing the combo, but he's also killing Yosha Bunch. Definitely being a huge impact on this game. But Candy is managing to get some frags to slow him down. But it looks like they won't be able to finish off the med. Yeah, and just in time also going down there to the spy. I believe that was even a butter knife as well. So the point going down in the favor of Memento Mori. Apple, though, he went down to a butter knife himself. Demento stepping up for his team when he needs to, as they weren't able to win that mid fight. They're going to lose second here as well, but they, it looks like they want to push out here, defend the second point, and we'll see if they can. Currently, Jarrett's going to be peeking from the shutter side. He actually doesn't take up too much damage. Draft actually getting pushed over as Draft and Jarrett both get traded off here. The point does go down in the favor, currently, of Memento Mori. As uh, Justin Time goes down again, he goes down to Blaze. And Apple's now going to have a little bit of an uber advantage here as uh, Justin Time down for another 15 seconds. There it looked like Barrett was getting a little bit over aggressive or his team was a little bit too slow. But he was peeking out to fight second before the rest of his team was coming with him. And so he ended up going down and only then did the rest of his team come out and fight. So ultimately they lose their med as well and the point. So it'll be MM sitting on a sizable uber advantage, 40% looking to push into last and take the victory. Everything is on the line for KD right now. Their playoff life, they need to defend this point. They're at an uber disadvantage. Everything has been working against them this game as they just haven't been able to have a good defense right now. Eerie Person going into water. Nice job there, kind of skating across. He was spotted by the Spy. Giraffe putting some damage out. A couple frags coming down the favor. Here comes Giraffe onto this final point. Can they win the game as Cassie gets thrown up into the air? Blaze is going to jump and get a lot of damage onto Derrick. Actually, nice air shot taking him down. But only three live from Memento Mori as KD looks like they're going to defend this. Geosis is going to run in. He should get taken out pretty easily here. As yes, he finally does. KD defends this. They're still alive. Just in time did go down as Scratchy gets one more frag but gets taken out there. And it looks like they want to push out onto this second point. But it might be a little bit slow as Skiz and Katsy out there. We'll see if they can take this back for KD. Again, it just. A struggle last push. This push is hard to get successfully. Um, there's a lot of ways to counter it. Candy did a good job there. Jared ends up going down. So two down. MM is likely going to be rushing in. They lose Etni as well. And here comes MM's aggression. Plowing to lobby. And looks like they're going to be pushing in the last with four players. And that kind of, at least we do have Demento actually doing a back cap right now. Nobody's contesting him. He's going to get this back cap in time to save KD. This final push. Memento Mori is going to have to slow down this push. And that might be enough time. Uh, as, oh, Blaze. He comes in here, takes down just in time. Jarrett goes down as well, thanks to Giraffe. Cassie goes down, nobody able to defend this point. Ender trying to find his life, but he goes down. Kresnik, the only one alive. He's going to try to hide in secret, but is it going to be enough? Yosh is back up here. Here comes Etni with the black box. Giraffe taking him down, and there you go. Memento Mori with a monumental upset here. 5-1 in this game, taking down KD. As, wow, Memento Mori is going to be meeting DK here in the grand finals on Monday with the massive upset, only 15% on Saloon.tf and uh, some people on there are going to be very happy as, uh, wow, what a game out of Memento Mori here. That was about just about as well as it could have gone for him and I think their playstyle fit right into Candy's weaknesses of not being as aggressive and as coordinated as they normally are and so mm's aggression especially on this map where there's a lot of different openings you can push from and just flooding in is super effective that they're able to just take this map and just keep dominating my goodness yeah what what an upset i mean i know you said that it was close here but i mean even then like i mean i saw them play against silver savages 
I thought very highly of them. I thought Giraffe played incredibly smart. We saw that again here, but I think it kind of this game, you can kind of see what happened in that final push right there is they had a great play out of the spy doing the back cap, gave his team time to get back up. They tried to push out from that final point, but it kind of seemed like they did this half push onto the second point when they ultimately got, you know, Jared got, got killed to the sticky trap. Uh, you know, Kresnik, Etni got caught out there. Um, you know, it just seemed like they just had a little bit of a miscommunication out of that aggression level. And I think K and D, I mean, they're such an incredibly strong team, some of the best players that play the game, but it seems like they just didn't know when to get aggressive, or if they did get aggressive, only half their team would, or something went wrong there. And as you said, not having Nursey uh, out here today due to, you know, ESEA obligations, I, I definitely think came back to bite them as uh, they just seemed maybe a little bit too passive to win the game here today. And uh, Momentum Mori, obviously, they, they looked just fantastic consistently. Um, so, I mean, kind of with your thoughts on this, I mean, do you, how do you think Momentum Mori played, and, and how do you think they're feeling going into this Grand Finals coming on Monday? Uh, I think they're definitely going to be excited for the match on Monday. Um, I expected Candy to win narrowly, but looks like MM was stronger than I expected, and they ended up taking the map. Um they're definitely going to be confident. These are all confident players, although most of them don't have a whole lot of experience, so they might be a little bit nervous, but Draft is definitely a, a pretty controlling leader, and so he should be able to keep them together. Yeah, so it'll be interesting coming in onto Monday, guys. Don't forget, we will be also back out here. Carl will be back, but he'll actually be in the game. He'll be playing Medic for DK in the Grand Finals, but TV with Vox Day, and hopefully Penguin will be back there as he could not make it out here tonight. So, guys, make sure you tune in 9.30 Eastern for that uh, on this channel. Obviously, EVL will also be casting you, so you guys can choose which one you want to do. Uh, but, Carl, uh, any anything uh any any secrets do you guys do you want to hint at what maps you're gonna be choosing this is like super secret until it's revealed uh i have no idea at this point i have to think about it look at logs try to remember how we played on maps early in the season but thanks for having me on it was a pleasure to cast with you thank you so much carl for being out here any final shout outs you want to give before we uh, cut it off here uh shout out to dk uh shout out to zach uh shout out to udc for putting together these seasons. Yeah, thank you so much, Carl, for coming out here. Guys, make sure you toss a heart out into chat for Vox Day. Normally, my co-caster, unfortunately, or fortunately, we got, we're able to get this out here tonight for you guys. Uh, he was on the camera. He's a silent man behind the scenes, but doing excellent, wonderful work. Thank you so much, Vox Day, for jumping in at the last second. Carl, again, thank you as well for jumping in, jumping in here at the last second for casting. Guys, don't forget to cl click that follow button. Again, we'll be out here Monday night, 930 Eastern. Hope to see all of you guys back here. Carl, good luck Monday. Good luck, Giraffe, if you're watching out here. Congratulations to Memento Mori again for winning 5-1 over KD on CP Gullywash. I'm Sigafu with Carl and Vox Day to my side. Have a great night.